is up everyone welcome back to the crypto blitz where you are about to get your crypto fix it is your host triple van winkle as always folks we got a doozy we got a major show lined up look at those headlines on the right we're talking about jim kramer the old kiss of death jim kramer we're talking about emerging xrp how about that little hidden meeting that might be going out years ahead what do you think that one's about I'll tell you. XRP Ledger is years ahead of the Ethereum blockchain. I got you covered. We have that Trangelo news from earlier today. We're going to talk about automated market makers and smart contracts on the XRP Ledger. Why David Schwartz says this is his, his favorite thing going for the Ledger. And then we're going to talk about XPool and how this all ties in. Because folks, smart contracts on the XRP ledger with the automated market makers is going to help the price of XRP go to the freaking moon. Stick with me to the end. We're going to cover this all in about 10 minutes. So let's do this. Bitcoin 28,135. It's trying to turn a little bit green on the hourly up 0.19% Ethereum 1,838. It's currently up 0.24% on the hourly chart. USDT and USDC both coming back in at their dollars pegs as XRP is coming in at 46 cents. It is flat 0% on the hourly, but it's down about 1.5% on the 24-hour. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1.18 trillion. As the Bitcoin balance is coming in at 46.02%. Now, folks, I'm going to remind you of these. Again, the Lux Lines Generation 2 NFTs, 80 themes. Get a little throwback. 80s baby these nfts earn you one point on a deluxe list 30 percent back in xrp each and every single month this is my project i own it i run it i operate it i do all the minting i do it all folks get to the discord if you're not there about 1500 plus members already in that discord last month we just paid out on the first of every month is pay out over 23,000 in xrp back to the holders all you gotta do is hold oh that's how simple it is well, I'll try to put this out. Jim Cramer. Jim Cramer says Bitcoin will shrivel up and die soon. Bullish. Bullish. Jim Cramer, please. Can you please come out and say something negative about XRP? Please. We need you to talk negatively on XRP. Just do it. Do it. Do us all the favor, folks. You know the reverse Jim Cramer is up like something like 20 or 30% this year. What's the reverse Jim Cramer? It's simple. Whatever he says, you do the opposite. He said Bitcoin's about to die. You buy Bitcoin. He just said something negative about Chipotle stock. How it's like the best place in the world or something. You buy or you short Chipotle on the way down. It's, it's crazy how it works. This guy's a freaking clown. Look at this. Emerging XRP accounts. Rank number 16th. How am I emerging? Where am I emerging from? That's what I want to know. Right, but love to see it still. Love to see it. Here's that secret meaning we talked about in the first video of the day. If you didn't listen to the first video, go give it a listen. We talked about the secret meeting. We can't throw out the facts just yet. Why? Well, there really are no facts. But you never know. May 8th, maybe there is a meeting. We can't say there isn't going to be because we don't know if there's going to be or not going to be. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All I do know, and then we haven't heard from the judge in about two months. So something's cooking, something's brewing. Wheezy said this, years ahead of Ethereum. You got that right. Matt Hamilton, who used to work for Rip, for Ripple. He said the XRP ledger is years ahead of Ethereum. Of course it is. And this has nothing to do with decentralization. It's faster. It's cheaper. It can scale. The smart contracts are 10 times better than Ethereum smart contracts. What's Ethereum doing? I'll tell you what Ethereum's doing. And this is I'm not making this up. I'm not lying about it. We heard from Ethereum Dev what they're doing. Man. The good old boys, Vitalik, Joe, Lubin, they're taking the money from Ethereum. And they're going out there and having a grand old time with it. I just want to know what the SEC is when they're going to step in and crack down. Maybe once Gary Gensler unloads his bag, because you know he's a disguised whale. Maybe when he unloads his bag of Ethereum... Then they'll come and step out and do something. Week 18 fintech news update from Trangelo. Ripple on demand liquidity in India. The payment solution offers optimized liquidity for cross border payments, including complex corridors like Brazil, Mexico, India, and Southeast Asia, using XRP as a neutral bridge for various fiat currency pairs. 
Singapore Tourism Board signs a three-year deal with WeChat Pay. The partnership aims to promote the country as a destination for Chinese tourists by giving them smarter and more convenient travel and experiences through expanded digital payments options. Interesting, right? Visa's profits surge up 17%. The net profit soared to $4.3 in three months. Amazing. The yuan overtakes the U.S. dollar as the most used cross-border payment currency in China. And then iFast, a global bank limited, rolls out free digital personal banking platforms where you can send six currencies. The pound, the dollar, euro, Hong Kong, Singapore, and the Chinese yuan. Very interesting. Keep your eyes on on-demand liquidity in India, folks. That's huge. India is the second largest remittance corridor in the world. And now they have the option to use ODL. They're going to use ODL. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Let's keep this going. Mickey B. Fresh, automated market makers and smart contracts that provide liquidity in the XRP Ledger decentralized exchange. Each automated market maker holds a pool of two assets enable users to swap between them at an exchange rate set by a formula. Liquidity providers receive LP tokens from the automated market makers. XRP, a global currency exchange, about to go through a significant evolution. As the DeFi systems built out, XRP owners will evolve with it. The automated market makers will earn XRP owners yield by staking XRP on Ledger and AMA pools. That's XRP's value prop proposition. XRP's utility is liquidity. You heard that, right? XRP's utility is liquidity. Are the most truly proven use case for DeFi or smart contracts. As I mentioned before, the market is huge. These are, these are being used to move real value. The driver seems to be providing liquidity between major tokens and between major and minor tokens. What do you want an exchange, a decentralized exchange for? Well, when you want to exchange something. And as the ecosystem grows, this long tail of minor tokens will be a significant driver of exchange activity. So if you see an explosion of tokens, major cryptocurrencies, minor cryptocurrencies, stable coins, tokens that represent equity, you know, tokenization of all different kinds of things, people will need to move between those assets. There'll be tokens that people want to hold, and there'll be tokens that people need at some particular time. And if those two types of tokens start drifting apart, then there'll be a, a, a need for a growing need for exchange. So people may want to hold stable coins because they're risk averse. Or maybe they want to hold major cryptocurrencies because they believe that maximizes their upside. And maybe they'll need fuel tokens for various different projects and ecosystems. People will need to move between those tokens easily or the whole ecosystem is going to become unusable. We're seeing lots of projects with their own tokens, an explosion of tokens on multiple blockchains, and that drives this need for interoperability. If you want to be able to interact with the, De the DeFi ecosystem as a sort of, as an entire space, I mean, think about the way you use the internet, right? You don't have to work very hard to move around the internet, right? It feels like a, a sort of place where you can sort of explore and you don't feel trapped in one particular part of it. If we want that experience, people are going to need to be able to perform transactions regardless of what assets they're holding. These He's a very smart man, folks. But wait, wait a second. What's this? What automate, automated market makers do is they turn volatility into yield. People who are, don't have access to our financial system, it gives them an easy way to invest. You know, this gives them access to ways to lend money and get a return that they wouldn't otherwise have, and they don't have to be in the same jurisdiction. Why? So it's the same thing with automated market maker. I'm not super interested in from the standpoint of who liquidity is. Sure. I'm super interested from the standpoint of what happens to the people who lend their cryptocurrency or other assets to the automated market maker. That's the side that excites me. Wow. And what automated market makers do is they turn volatility into yield. They turn volatility into yield. Aaron S just chimes in. Listen to what he has to say here. So if the automated market make a proposal, it turns volatility into yield. That's what David Schwartz said. So when people buy XRP and lend it to the automated market makers to earn a yield. So my guess is that will create a large pool of XRP. And the more volatile XRP is, the larger the pool is going to be. Hence, hence, X pool, folks. Interesting, isn't that? Very interesting. So... What does this all mean in the long run? It's simple. People, institutions, because this 
AMA is going to be more towards the institutional banking use, right? They're going to earn a yield on their XRP. So not only are they going to buy the XRP off these exchanges or wherever they get it, over the counter, some depending on the institution, how big they are, right? It's going to create a large pool of XRP. If XRP becomes volatile, the pool, the larger the pool is going to be. Why? To help with the volatility to get that XRP going. And they earn back here. This right here, automated market maker, is going to help the price of XRP. Utility plus demand plus speculation is going to take XRP to the next level. We're currently looking at a 46 cent XRP. It's super deflated. It's disgusting. I know. I'm with you. I've been here since 2017. I could have saved these past 20 years of my life. I mean, it's only really been seven, but it feels like 20. And I could have pretty much been at the same buy-in point. But I'm here. I've been researching. I've been learning. And I've been educating folks. I believe in XRP. I believe in what Ripple is doing, what the companies behind our building on top of the XRP ledger is doing. Our day will come, utility will come, the price of XRP will soar. Remember that, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.